I did do some volunteering. Um, I worked at a hospice in the daycare centre in South, um, based in South London where I grew up. Um, I got my work experience through um, a volunteering agency and they happened to have visited my school sick form and um, introduced the idea of doing voluntary work to us. So when I went to choose some voluntary work I decided to do something that was related to medicine and worked in the day centre and um, whilst it wasn't necessarily particularly medical in itself I was working with people with terminal conditions and had a lot of experience in understanding how they were dealing with their conditions and speaking to people who were dealing with quite difficult situations. I found it really difficult to find work experience before I applied to medical school, mainly because my family don't have a medical background and we don't have lots of friends who are all in the medical world themselves. Um, and a friend of mine at the time said, why don't I try doing some volunteering work? So I got involved in something called Millennium um, Volunteering and they put me in touch with a care home. So it was a day centre and I'd go along there each day and spend three, four hours just talking to people and getting involved in the work that the care home did. And then I did a couple of weeks in a nursing home as well, just shadowing one of the care assistants there, learning what it was like to take care of people. And it's important to realise that it's not about finding a place in a GP practice or going to a hospital that's world renowned. You're supposed to show that you have the ability to care for people, but also that you understand what medicine's about. And medicine isn't just about what happens in the hospital, it's about what happens in the community as well. Um, I was lucky that at my school, sixth form, we um, had some help with preparation for interviews for things like medical school and Oxbridge applications. Um, so it was mostly just um, being practised at that one-to-one -one interaction and having answers prepared for things that were likely to come up. But I did feel that what was most convincing in an interview was really just understanding in yourself why it was you want to be a doctor and I think if you've got that natural passion and enthusiasm and just raw desire to do it that in itself will come through in your answers. Um, as well as um, discussing why I wanted to study medicine in my medical school interview um, I also found it useful to have looked into why I chose the particular schools I applied to, um, look into the um, particular structure of the course and how medicine is taught at your particular potential school and also the living conditions and environment of the town or city in which the medical school is based. The idea of problem-based learning is that it integrates the curriculum to a certain extent. Um, at my particular medical school, everything was structured in the first two years in fortnightly case units. And within each fortnight, we'd have three problem-based learning sessions. Um, we'd have the case originally unfolded, as we called it, and then at the subsequent two sessions, more information would be revealed. Within our group, we'd decide from that particular case which issues arose about that case that we felt we needed to learn about, and we'd go off and explore them ourselves. As I mentioned, that was essentially the core of our fortnightly case units. And around this particular problem-based learning case would be our teaching of life sciences, clinical skills, and our other lectures, which would teach us about the subjects around that core subject. It's quite different from traditional courses in that we don't separate um, our learning into discrete topic areas of anatomy or physiology and try and integrate them in a way that's similar to our approach to clinical scenarios and problems um, during our clinical years of education but also as our day-to-day -day working lives as doctors.